fine. You can stand here, sulking. Hello everybody, Kyle here from the Far Hardy Games, and we are going to be continuing the quarry. This is my second playthrough, second part. You can go grab us some towels. Um, I just have it playing because I'm actually a little bit ahead from last stream. What do you need but towels for? I'll be right well, where I left off here in just a second. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite... And this is where I left off in the stream yesterday. That one's kind of hard to miss. So yeah, we're past the kind of campy time of the game. This is where things start getting a little serious. Huh. It's not long ago. A recent news newspaper article about two hikers who went missing in these woods. As the date of publication, they haven't been found. Wonder if it was near here. Okay, you actually can go back. I may have to do that another time. That's kind of weird, just the way they did it in this game. It's very different from the other ones. Like, I would feel like what I just read was all that you could read about it. I wouldn't think to go back in a second time to actually read the text. Check it and thack it, huh? Oh, well, check it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is thack it? Check it and thack it. I mean, the kid to me looks like his name Chris. I'm not sure. I forgot what his name is. The dark and mysterious one. Take a quick look around before we grab those towels, see if we find anything else interesting. Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. Still wet. Zero.
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Someone up there. I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. That's a better way to think of it. I think I missed that on my previous playthrough. I was kind of looking around, but couldn't really figure out what I was supposed to look at. Not going to give it up, but I know who that is. Man, they need a Friday the 13th full-fledged game like this. That would be awesome. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry or... And we could shake it up doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. <gasps> oh, but I can, because... You see, oh, help! Help, I'm... I'm drowning, and I... I need a big, strong... Not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> and that's where you get dragged under. Okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Kiddo, kiddo, kiddo. Hurricane Jake. It's not the promised land. This room is planned. Kiddo, 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 kiddo. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? Hey, switch. Oh, stop being a. Attack! I'd be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little cleaner. Right, you know what I mean. Like, like this. I, Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be this summer. <laughs> Jacob. Okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey! Where you going? Come on! Huh? Emma! Jacob! Over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream! And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream! I can't hear you! Okay, look, just... Just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? You'd think that'd be like an option whether to leave her there alone or go. Very admirable, but then you leave her vulnerable. Some mighty fine social disruption there, Kaylin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Huh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute 
preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. <laughs> he doesn't want no part of it. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! We gotta know what... Well, she needs help. Give her a second. Go after Nick! Go! Maybe... Maybe you should go. Look, I gotta help Abby. Go! He might be hurt too! That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. You're a better shot, though. Okay, okay. Alright. Alright, so this is gonna lead me to a choice that I feel is a bad choice, but... Since I'm going the opposite direction... I'm gonna have to do it. Who knows, it could end up being a good thing. Followed the path last time. Continue with the shortcut. I feel like the shortcut's a bit longer at this point. See what happens. Holy shit, dude. Oh, not, not, not. Hey, hey, can you walk? Jack, gotta go. Come on, come on. Get back to the fire. Oh. Yeah, I didn't shoot him last time, so we'll see what kind of difference that makes. Somebody was telling me last time they had a feeling that if I shot at him, it was going to take the other guy out too. Which kind of made possible sense how they keep foreshadowing the spread. Wonder if there's still a possibility I could have shot him. I wonder now. I would have aimed at him instead if I actually could have Fuck. killed him. Oh, Jesus. There's a half naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing?
Kato, you are getting hair everywhere. Don't remember if I called out last time. I don't think I did. Hello? Abby? Fuck are you? Fuck you, you fucking asshole! I'm not really in the position oh, to be Jesus doing Christ, that. What the fuck are you doing? Really have to yell distraction? <laughs> what the heck? Ooh, there's a boar tied up in that tree. So I think I'm right. That's boar's blood. It didn't show it this time, but if Seems I didn't, like just a blink and you're back to if I didn't throw the dirt at him, he would have put poured blood so, on me. Then, what have we got? So that's probably gonna cause a difference. It's the star. I'm assuming the creatures stars, that hides her scent. Stars in the night sky. Beacons of light. Dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity. And sometimes truth. The tower. Jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves. But often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Let me take a look inside your crystal ball, lady. Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. Oh, really? So which is it? Choose. Interesting. I thought she would read them off to you. Let's go and do the star. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. It was, I, I, 
I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a uh, there was a hunter, and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. Right. There was... There was a guy there that... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Did I get... It's Abby... Hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Oh, big claws. Teeth are on the top of me. I think she was a bear. A full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, oh shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Don't believe infection would spread that quickly. Probably applied pressure last time, so let's not. Ryan. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. He just needs a doctor. Proper medical attention. And a shrink, too, probably. That'd probably help. But what you don't know is he was probably on to something. Give it to her, dude. What if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right, so, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Yeah, I bet this is a bad idea. Okay. Okay. You were saying Shall we Lodge? Look? Are you stupid? Let's get out of here. Oh. But what about Jacob and Emma? What if they come back and can't find us? Leave a note. <laughs> leave a note. Let's leave a note. They'll catch up with us if they want to. Right now we gotta make sure Nick and Abby are okay. Nick's legs all sorts of fucked up. I don't know how we're gonna get him all the way back. I got it. All right, let's go. Oh my god. Did I... I did shoot him. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't 
don't know if everybody's going to make it alive through this playthrough. Yep, because he does come running out. I knew that was against my best judgment, but I'm trying to do the opposite of what I did last time just to see what happens. Okay, here's a riddle for you. Hopefully I can at least make it to the end of the game. And is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. Otherwise, there will definitely be a third playthrough. Well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a... A strange, tiny little island, all alone, with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a treehouse over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back, because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Explorer venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers! <laughs> Man, that's not the way I wanted him to go. I wanted to see if it was going to make a difference that he didn't have the blood on him. I had a feeling that may have came back to bite him later. Whether it would have killed him, I don't know. But one down already, so... You, Jacob? No prizes for guessing what these are can't say that I've used them a little too all natural for me TVH you know I've never thought about where the waste goes oh oh please God no okay we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that that would be disgusting yeah. I don't think they'd be allowed to do that. Yeah, but I did say, I think before, the only one I got everybody out of was House of Ashes. But I did remember that in Madame Madonna, I actually got everybody out. Except for one that bit me in the end, but I knew that was going to happen. And I did it on purpose. But if I wouldn't have did that, they would have and all got out. this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at okay i'm trying really hard to make this interesting but sometimes a thing just is what it is i think i've made my point island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man-child all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day and while we're talking about it you don't mind that we're talking about it right why why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it you know <sighs> oh look a metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road how fitting here's the big question do i Take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? 
I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Ooh, did that look like so? Ooh, I gave me the chills. I don't think I, I think there was somebody behind her. It might have been the hag. She was like right there. I don't think I noticed that last time. I'm pretty sure that's what I just saw. It gave me chills. Yeah, but you don't gotta worry about him bugging you anymore. Okay, I went under last time, so let's go ahead and go up. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Yeah, they got a little teary-eyed yeah, from that. You might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Yeah, I don't know if that happens to anybody else, but it's something weird that's always happened to me, like... I get something really creeped out by the supernatural or something, like my eyes will start to tear up. I don't know what it is. Too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. Jacob's real problem is he thinks he's starring in his own movie he sees everything like it's happening to him she says recording her own reality show Ugh, whatever mm -hmm. he wants to be with me because he thinks it'll make him happy when I don't think he's even ever thought about what I want okay that's not true honestly I think I'm deflecting I know he'll meet someone at college and forget all about me good for him he deserves it Maybe I should start going all freaky clingy and stuff. Maybe that'll scare him off. Like, like show up at his house in a in a wedding dress or something like that. Loki actually considering it. But hey, here I go again, trying to turn everything I do into some sort of dramatic experiment. Loki. If that doesn't tell you this game is current. Uh, if you showed up in a wedding dress, he might just marry you. It may backfire on you. I want to go zip lining. promised one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse in another world perhaps young jacob and i would settle down here and play house together honey i'm home what's that now i forgot the children's bedtime well now that's a fine how do you do Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Oop. Still doing some of the double audio. Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open? the spooky trap door and die a horrible painful death there are literally no right answers oh, 
Um, pretty sure I opened the trap door last time. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Or maybe I didn't. jump I can promise you that much <laughs> like a little freaked out <sighs> goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore Yeah, he is so creepy. Not gonna mess around with missing one of those actions because the way this game is, I really feel like that would kill me. Lock door, use trap door. Uh, bear spray again? Got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no. Sorry, I'm just. I'm really hungry. I'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh man, I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck! I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's <laughs> office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. 
You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like what? Should I ask for it? Like police, ambulance? Huh. Ninety one one would be nine zero one one. Cops. With guns. We need a lot of backup out here. <coughs> so they'll say, nine one one, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now. And we really need backup. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Sounds pretty solid. What's wrong? Dead. Well, did you hang up? How could I have hung up? I don't know. You know, maybe you slipped and hung up or something. Do you know how phones work? Yeah, of course. Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. I did not. <sighs> okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah. And where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably rig something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. You gotta be fucking crazy if you think I'm gonna go out there without something to defend myself. It's more of a safety concern. Oh, do you think I'm gonna shoot my eye out? Or your whole head. Don't be a dick, man. I know how to use this. I mean, you don't know, dude, but you already killed somebody. Okay. Uh, it's It's... Probably the weather. Hell no. Ryan. Maybe, maybe it was the bears. This is horror bears. movie 101, dude. Why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. Probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. She's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man.
Against my better judgment, I'm gonna keep it. No. Fuck that. I'm keeping it. Dude, if those hunter guys come back, she's basically a sitting duck in here. You're being really selfish right now. It's not a good look on you. No, I'm just being safe. I can't believe you're being such an asshole right now. You can leave yours. Look, you don't tell me what to do, man, okay? I'm sorry, but it's it's not gonna happen. What are we even what are we even talking about? Just give her the gun. We don't need it. We already have a gun. Fuck. Dude, why don't you just give her your gun? I can't believe you're being such an asshole. And right back at you, Buster. Seriously? Is this worth fighting for? No, not with your argument. Oh, okay, so now you just want to win the fight. Not cool, man. Not cool. Am I interrupted something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. So it looks like oh, he actually did so leave much, his gun Dylan, after you're all? You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Okay. So I don't know if there's a scenario in which they would have been left without a gun. There was a premonition to take a picture, which I believe I did do in the first one, but because of my actions this time, I don't think that's even going to be an option, So I think that was on the lower level. Just going to stick to lo slow. Went fast last time. Ooh, might be a bad idea. Okay. I'm getting nervous, especially since I'm already down one person. Oh, okay. Got down really quick. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> A time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it. Tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could The cider's going away. down a little too easy. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Just gonna hang it on the table for this stream, Kato. Remember who's looking Ooh, out careful. for you.
Whoa. Dude, don't knock the monitor down. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. All right, lay down, kiddo. Oh, shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? jumped on me and you ran away you just left me there nick i i i i didn't know what to do i mean i thought what you'd rather I, just save yourself huh i no no I, I... all right they're off to find a radio or something what's with the um the... oh uh we found another in mr h's office so just in case and what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. Dylan and Ryan already left. Stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. Dude, you already got shot once tonight. I will shoot you again. When you find them, run them. And keep me posted, Bobby. Bobby Boucher.
How can you not see her? That whole this scene is definitely weird. May not, be, may not be like the best time per se, but like. What? Yes. Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and the start of camp and well, like now that summer's over and you know is that like the last time we're gonna see each other? You know. I'm sorry, Nick. What? What are you saying? Hey, I'm kind of pouring my heart out here. Nick, I'm, I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? I'm, I'm really freaked out. It's just not a good time. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... I kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? So are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Of course I wanted it to happen. I just... Didn't know if you did too. Dude is losing it. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um... I, you can tell me. Yeah, I... I guess. I, huh. Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We have time. We have time. It's okay. I got this. Dude, oh walking God. around what like it's Jason Voorhees. Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their emergency player and everything, and you know, nowadays everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Technology it giveth and it taketh. So but is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? I feel like there's no, a deeper like reason the, uh, why he DJ takes it. Or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean I like music, but I think I wanna major in um, quantum physics. I didn't backtrack last time, but out of curiosity, I just wanna like, see if there's what? something back here. seem like a science guy. All right, oh, looks yeah. like I, I mean, can't go know, any not, further. Not here. Um, mm 
plays a real suave dude, but he's really just a nerd. Which is awesome. He tries to put off Mr. Cool Guy. Yeah, but I have a feeling he takes the phones in case something like this happens. I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit, by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blasé is in Stoner Dylan? Um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm, let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's, that makes a lot of sense. I looked there in the beginning, so I know for sure that wasn't there. Something like that could really take your hands off. This, this bear trap definitely wasn't there over the summer. At least I can't hurt anyone now. What is this doing at a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's It wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then we would have noticed that, right? Whatever it was trying to catch, you can't now. Don't want some kids stumbling into that, that's for sure. Ooh, sounds like a storm's a coming. When I did find that tape recorder in the beginning, see if it's still over here. I believe it's Dylan's. Maybe that could help in some way. I couldn't pick it up earlier in the game. Oh man. I told the kids to look after this. It's three times older than they are. Why the hell did I do that? You think there would be more to that? Hey, watch yourself, Kato. Don't go walking over my keyboard. Go outside. Go 
feels pretty good out there. All good? All good? Huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. That doesn't seem like it's gonna help us much. <laughs> Don't underestimate the power of technology. Uh, is technology the right word? No, yeah, you're right. This is more like magic, man. Oh, so you would be the magician? In a manner of speaking, sure. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up. Um, but that's where this comes in. That's magic. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Better than nothing. Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere. And there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good. And a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help. So please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please... Uh, come help us, SOS. Uh, this is uh, an emergency. S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that swarm of bears? Yeah. Heard of bears? Yeah, I've heard of bears. But... <laughs> oh god. All right. I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. That was entirely unconvincing. Lodge? I don't know. Hold on. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Talking about you. Copy that. Um, now. We 
can't be sure they were talking about us. Uh, I don't know. I, it really, really sounded like they were. But that's... That's not possible, right? Why not? Oh, shit. There's not many of you out there. I know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, shit. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. For real, dude, you already saw it. That is effing terrifying. Fuck you, I, I, I didn't know what I saw. You saw something and you didn't think that you should fucking tell me? I forgot, I mean, the, I, the guys came on the radio. You forgot. That's kind of something hard to forget. Uh, Ryan? I'm hoping to have a better outcome than I had last time, but we'll see. I don't think bears can jump like that. Hopefully I scared it off. Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. Dude, they're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Now, do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, get, just get into a cabin now. Go. And we didn't unlock it earlier, so. Oh, fuck, dude. Hopefully they can get in there. They're gone. Yeah, we did not. Uh, well, we gotta do something. Come on. Is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing, like the dog, maybe, it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and, I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. Do it. Everything is right. I did everything right. Yeah, that's electronics. Oh shit, it, it's attacking the cabins. Oh crap, it knocked out the wire. Okay, uh, fix it, I'll cover you. This is definitely a different experience than I had last time. 
I'm not gonna mess around right here because I'm pretty sure I could die pretty easily. say this that was a better outcome than what happened the first time is it safe I don't know that thing's gone but you heard those hunter guys on the radio what picked up their walkie signal they need hey to there know. having a good Fuck, time did you get a message out I'm not sure anyone heard it <sighs> great what the hell was going on up there it just attacked us Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then they would have sensitive hearing, so... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. We basically Did handed it over. Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Dylan, what is that? Oh my god! Let's have a moment. Still not entirely sure who that is, but I think it's Chris Hackett's daughter. game is very heavy on the music. I don't imagine streamer mode would have the same feel. Oh, you're back. Looks like that's Man, it looks like I didn't find any cards on that one. Let's take a look once more. No cards means no reading. Simple as that. Keep looking, though. There are still cards to find somewhere out there. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Apologies, I had to drain the main vein if you know what I'm saying. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Bailey Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. 
Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Feel right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Nick, what do you... I taste you. Hey. Come here, huh? Oh, Nick, what the hell? Uh, get off. Uh, watch out. I said get off. Swim with the dead body. Oh yeah, they don't like water. Okay? I just wanted him to stop. Nick, dude. I got him. What did I do? Let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that pool's not heated. And yes, he's cold, but I mean, he took a dip in a pool in the middle of a storm. Just try to rest. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens, for the police. Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. We may like photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. So you don't end up at the loony bin. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Alright, so I'm not gonna waste time looking at the bathroom stalls. I don't believe there's anything there, at least last time I checked. I wonder where Caleb is. Caitlin's face down in a pool. Caleb is probably not a good place as well. A recent piece of camp history. A younger Ryan enjoying his time at camp with Chris Hackett's kids. Caleb and Kaylee. This place was so different, like 12. Among the miscellany of these forgotten belongings is a scribble drawing of a woman in the woods. Those ghost stories seem to have really left a mark. Hours ago. Notice the full moon in the back. Don't feel like I might have actually searched these ones. I'm pretty sure I didn't last time. Maybe we'll find something good. I hope so after taking time to go through every one. Oh, there we go. There's a card. Definitely didn't find that one last time. That's probably all there is, but we're going to go ahead and take a look anyway.
All right, I believe that might be it. And let's hope this scene goes better than it did last time. I'm not gonna test it this time. That better? Thanks. So like I said, if you give yourself the opportunity to die in this game, hey. it will kill you. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how you freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh, he was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit, or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> hey, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good example. I do like you. No, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Not in the last few hours. I've been kind of a dick. I am telling you the truth. God. What? You're really very smart, aren't you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy. Right off the bar. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I... <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, Abby. That's not natural. Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. Convenient. He's still in the middle of transformations. So I wonder if that's going to make a difference. No, you made the right choice. Hopefully it was enough. Hit him again. Hit him again. Oh my god. Hit him again. Hit him again. Hit him again. Hit him again. Okay. Woo! Okay, I will tell you from experience that if you do not shoot him, it's going to end badly. I was really hoping that was going to be enough, and luckily it was. Because that was my first death.
it's kind of weird. I'm like on this fine line of like not trying to give out spoilers, but at the same time, like I'm trying to explain some things that happen. If you haven't figured out werewolves, I mean, should be obvious at this point. It's the most goddamn terrifying werewolves I've seen. <sighs> okay. So, if I were a counselor at an off season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go. The lunch. So I'm kind, kind of at a trade-off at this point, because I didn't kill him this early on in the game, but she died right there. So it makes me about even at this point. It's so weird. I'm seeing the campfire out there, and somebody's barbecuing outside. Ryan stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. They officially suck as counselors. <sighs> Man, that'd be so awesome if we get to that point in gaming where you just... Like, smell-a-vision. You kind of smell as you're playing. But there would be some really disgusting things going on at the same time. Let's go ahead and read this one. Camper's letter home. Hi, Mom. Camp is so fun. Mr. Hackett is teaching us so much about nature and being safe in the woods. My friend Josh said he saw a ghost. I think he is lying just to scare me, but I drew a picture of her anyway. She looks quite angry, but I think sometimes when people are angry, they are just sad instead. We're going sailing in the lake tomorrow. I can't wait. I'm pretty sure that's spelled wrong. That's why it's... Whatever. Love from Rowan. Can I see that picture you're talking about? Some firecrackers. Cool, I didn't see that on my first playthrough, but it's also... I don't know if I checked the fire, but it's because I didn't pick up fireworks in the other one. I figured it was a bad idea, but at this point, I haven't seen it being a bad idea yet. Gone to the lodge, Shut Ryan. Okay. Cool. Which that's different because they left a note. Okay, where did I come from? Can I again turn around? Okay, that's where I came from. Anything of interest over here? We must have done this. <sighs> Freaking mudslide, I guess. Not going that way. Okay, looks like we go up that way. Anything over here? Or is that just two different directions that I can go? To be honest, I'm not quite sure which way I went. I'm 
She's trying to quick walk, but she's not going that much faster. I guess because of the rain. So many different directions to go. Let's check it up. Check out up here real quick. If it looks familiar, I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. So I kind of feel like I remember walking upstairs. Okay, so that was just two different ways to get up here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look that other direction because I'm not quite sure if I went that way. This looks a little more familiar. But I don't think I went up those stairs last time. I think I just walked through the path that I'm on right now. a little overbearing when you have this much area to search. Hopefully didn't see that last time. Ooh boy. Did you see it? It may be a hint that this isn't a good way to go, but feel like I haven't went this direction. Should know pretty soon. Surprising, you would think there would be something down here. A spider? No, it's a bush or a fern. Okay, I'm hoping this is the way I didn't take last time because I really don't want to backtrack. Oh, they actually caught it. Come on! I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast. That's it. I ran last time. I'm just going to stay put. God damn. I 
Goddamn these fucking kids. Son, what? Ah. Ah. Hey, stop. Stop squirming. Give me the train. You should be, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh. Oh. Can we just be straightforward, guys? That's what's awesome about this game, like the littlest things can make a difference in the story. Whether it's a major difference or not, like... It doesn't feel safe. He ran off, girl. You did not kill him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Exactly. I just don't get it. Nick was... That was not Nick. And where the hell are Jacob and Emma? Don't you think we should have run into them again by now? Well, they're probably just blinking their brains out in some cabin somewhere. I don't know, man. Something fucked up is going on. The hunters, Chris running off, Nick, Kaylee. Oh, God. Kaylee. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yeah? You were supposed to be working, uh... Helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should. I think that we should listen. That's some BS. Okay. I'm gonna open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? The moon. How poignant. Tonight of all nights. 
to harness <laughs> your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Yes, please. <laughs> Off you go then. Top top. One down, remember. Cheerio. <laughs> Terribly exciting. Don't remind me, lady. I know that could have easily been avoided, but I wanted to see what happened. And it didn't end well. To be expected. Why didn't you come? That's why I didn't shoot him the first time. So, uh, why didn't you come? <clears throat> Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Just in the nick of time. Have you done the max? Shut up. You can't just shut up. Shit. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Well, I'm not saying shit until you tell me where Max is. He said so. You can't keep us here. I know what this is. This is an illegal detainment. They are waiting for us at Hackett's Quarry, and pretty soon they're gonna figure out we're missing. I want a lawyer. You finished?
Guess that sheriff's badge doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't believe in the law. Excuse me? We didn't do anything. You locked us up. Explain that to me. Lady, I don't think you have any idea what kind of shit you just stepped into. There is shit, and then there's shit. Stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. I lashed out last time. Let's go. Doesn't make much of a difference. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Okay. Are you serious? You just left me to fucking die, Lord. You really care if I'm okay? God. I don't know what to say, Max. I I was terrified out of my mind. I I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I can't expect you to think clearly in a situation like well, whatever that was. I'm sorry. I'll get over it. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Ode. <laughs> For Brainked. Dick Whippet. through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's get the fuck 
squad. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling. Hey! Leave him alone! Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Hey! Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting him! Hey! something in here you can use. Alright, I'm going to continue to stream, but I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.